In most states across the U.S., contractors are required to have a surety bond as a condition of licensing. The bonds may be required at the local, county, or state level. The party who requires the bond is called the obligee. Hi, I'm John Teat, Senior Commercial Underwriter at Merchants Bonding Company. Today, we will discuss contractor license bonds. What are contractor license bonds? Contractor license bonds guarantee that the contractor will comply with certain regulations and licensing requirements. They are meant to protect consumers and government entities from financial losses. How do contractor license bonds differ from contract surety bonds? Contractor license bonds are a type of commercial license and permit bond and a contractor must have them in place before they can do work in most states. The bond amount can vary based on the bond's requirements, type of work, or amount of work being performed. On the other hand, contract surety bonds are typically required for specific construction projects. The bond amount is based on the size of the project and the bond guarantees that the contractor will perform the work and will pay subcontractors, laborers, and material suppliers. Who needs contractor license bonds? Several contractor types may need bonds, like mechanical, roofing, and electrical contractors. There could be different requirements for residential and commercial contractors. If a contractor performs multiple types of work, they may need multiple bonds. How much does the bond cost? The rates for contractor license bonds vary depending on the bond form and statute language, the type of work being performed, and indemnitor qualifications. They can be as low as $5 per thousand or 0.5% for many compliance only requirements for local licenses. Rates are much more varied for state required license bonds. We do have preferred rates in many states. On Merchants Intuitive and Efficient Bonding website, The Hub, prices can be viewed instantly. What information is needed for underwriting? Underwriting of contractor license bonds can vary depending on the guarantee, obligee, and bond amount. Generally, contractor license bonds can be instantly issued when a county, city, or town is named as the obligee and the bond amount is $25,000 or less. Other contractor license bonds where a federal or state agency is the obligee may require a signed application, including business and personal indemnity, and qualifying personal credit. Nearly all contractor license bonds can usually be issued within minutes on Merchant's website, The Hub. Sometimes additional factors may be considered for larger contractor license bonds, like business and personal financial statements, whether the license is for an individual job or blanket, and estimated time to complete. What happens if a claim is filed? All contractor license bonds work in the same basic way. If a bonded and licensed contractor breaks the bond's terms, a claim can be made against the bond for compensation. The surety will pay out the claim, if warranted, but the contractor is responsible for paying back the surety in full. How are bonds issued? Contractors should get in touch with their insurance agent to help walk them through the process. The agent will work with merchants to issue the bond. Contact Merchants Bonding Company for agent recommendations in your area. Thanks for watching. I hope I've cleared up the basics of contractor license bonds. Contact Merchants Bonding Company with further questions.